So hey, we are at 5510 Eastgate. We are right down the road from the old Stafford Quarry Street of Dreams homes, sitting on two acres. Um, unbelievable home. You're gonna love this house. A couple things I noticed when I pulled up. Huge driveway, parking area in front of the garage. Three car garage, oversized deep and tall. Perfect for taking boats in and out or Suburbans in and out. It's exactly what you would want. Um, two acres, like I said, but I think over an acre of it is fully landscaped. I talked to the builder, he said he spent over $100,000 just on the outside landscaping, which is, that is purely just landscaping. That's wiring, lights, um, sprinkler system, grass, plants, trees, you name it. Leveling out the yard. Um, the things I noticed the most, I love cobblestone and I love this entry. So the cobblestone entry into a covered porch, all with knotty pine, um, covered area, tongue and groove, it's beautiful. Let's go take a look at the inside and, um, and then we'll show you the back, which is the best part of the house. All right, let's go. All right, so welcome to this unbelievable house. So, first thing you notice when you walk in are the beautiful hardwood floors, the 20-foot ceilings. The office is right here on the right, also has 20-foot ceilings. You've got formal dining. Again, with the formal dining, it's not very common in new construction to have a true formal dining with four walls surrounding it. It has wainscoting from floor to ceiling, coffered ceiling. It is perfect just the way it is. I love formal dining. Great place to sit down for Thanksgiving, that kind of stuff. And don't forget to turn around and enjoy floor to ceiling whitewash brick, 20 feet of it. This entire accent wall where the door is, you're gonna miss it if you don't turn around once you walk in. And it's pretty special. So make sure you do that when you come to this house, all right? Let's go take a look at the rest of this house, the family room, the nook, the kitchen, and this amazing backyard outdoor living space with the view that's gonna knock your socks off. Let's go this way. All right, so walking into the kitchen, you're gonna notice really nice butler's pantry with the wine fridge, separating the formal dining and the kitchen area. Really nice monogram appliances throughout the refrigerator, the range, and the dishwasher, all monogram. Monogram is actually the brand that Top Chef uses on Bravo. Did a little bit of research, that's pretty cool. It's high-end stuff, really nice. You've got a beautiful built-in microwave right down here with a drawer actually that slides open. So you set stuff down inside it instead of having to pop the door open and get really low, which is really nice. All quartz countertops, as you can tell, it seats five people. Big Island. I love this built-in hood. It's all woodwork around it. You can't even tell that there's a hood there. And it is, that, that really is a beautiful accent to this kitchen. And you go into the nook, the nook has all the shiplap horizontally all the way around it, and also the doors that open up out to the patio. So let's go take a look at the patio, and then we'll come back in, we'll look at the master, and I'll show you the additional bedrooms. All right, let's go outside. So I wanted to show you just how big this was. I had it open when we walked in, but I wanted to show you. It's the equivalent of five sliders. So it folds in half here, opens up, and then this folds into threes and opens up. and this is your opening. Your covered area out here is about 28 by 28 with 20 foot ceilings, all knotty pine tongue and groove. It has all of your can lights. Let's go take a look outside. I'm gonna point it all out to you real quick. Let's go. All right, so welcome to your outdoor living space. Like I said, it's about 28 by 28. You have a fireplace, all beautiful rock work on this side. Same rock work over here with a built-in barbecue, the refrigerator, a sink, over there is a fire pit. Both fire pit and fireplace have gas lines running to it for a gas start. Real wood burning though, right? But you can gas start them. The cool thing about this backyard is not only is it massive and flat, it's pre-wired and ready to go for a swimming pool if that's what you decide you want to do. All the wiring's ran. And if you do want a swimming pool or a hot tub or anything like that, there's actually a little half bathroom that you can only get to from the outside and it's right past the dining room doors here. So that's a pretty cool feature. Not a lot of homes have that. So anyway, if you love outdoor living and wait until you see this view, it faces west. The coastal range is all on the backside of your home. You're gonna be able to watch the sunset every single night from sitting right here, enjoying a fire. All right, let's go inside and take a look at the master. We'll look at the bonus space upstairs and we'll wrap it up. Come on in. All right, so before we go to the master, I wanted to stop in and enjoy this family room. Not only is it big, which it is, plenty of room for couches and chairs and everything you would want, 
It's so warm and so inviting with the dark wood, the shiplap, and the brick. This is all one huge continuous living space, which if you have a family, friends over, this is where you want to be. This is the home you want to be in if you love to entertain. So the master's this way, right around the corner, with a half bath. That direction is two bedrooms, the wine cellar, mud room, really big mud room, and the garage. We'll go see that next. Right now, let's go take a look at the master, and I'll show you how sweet this master bath is. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so as you're entering into the master, on the way in is the half bath. I want you to notice in there, the shiplap it was continued from the built-ins into the, into the half bath, which is a really cool feature. But in here, I wanna point this out. Accent wall with all shiplap wood, huge vaulted ceilings, wood beam, wired for speakers, speakers are already in. It's got a separate door out to the covered patio area that we were just in, which is really nice. And I wanna point out another thing that People are making this comment a lot. Master bedrooms are getting smaller. They're getting smaller on purpose. Builders are not building these massive, overdone master bedrooms anymore because everybody wants a big closet and a big bathroom. So the space that you're getting goes there instead of where you sleep, right? You don't have clothes and dressers. That's just not the way things are anymore. You just have a bed and two nightstands. You don't need a huge bedroom. Everything is in the closet that you need and in the bathroom. So let's go take a look at the master bath and the master closet, and then we'll go see the rest of the house. Let's go right this way. All right, so as you walk into the master bathroom, the Italian marble is beautiful. Heated floors, the Italian marble tile also then goes all the way up to the ceiling in the shower. It's got a huge soaking tub. It has his and her sinks, obviously. The walk-in closet is huge, and it has a washer and dryer hookup, which is really cool. Speakers are also ran in here. Turn on your music, go to, you know, take a shower, get ready to go, you've got music going, so it's really cool. So let's go take a look at the other side of the house and then we'll head upstairs and take a look at the bonus space. All right, let's go. All right, so right before we head upstairs, I wanna point out a couple, a couple other things. We're on the opposite side of the house now as the master. So you have a bedroom here with a Jack and Jill bathroom right in between this bedroom, right? So really no other way to get to that bathroom it's not for the guests, it's really just for these two and they share that bath, it's pretty cool. Back in here you have a huge mudroom. Um, also a wine cellar underneath the stairs, which is really cool. The garage is huge, uh, extra tall and extra deep. So make sure you take a look at that when you come look at the home. Let's head upstairs and I'll point out the cool features up here. There's a theater room, two bonus rooms, and a couple additional bedrooms. Let's go take a look. All right, so as you're coming up, a couple things to notice. First of all, skylight right over the stairs. Puts out a ton of natural light, it's really cool. You have a bedroom right here that's actually wired for surround sound. So it was originally gonna be a theater room. And then they're like, well, what if the family needs five bedrooms? So they put a closet in. So there's a closet, but it's wired for surround sound. So it can be a bedroom or it can be your theater room, which is cool. Here you have another bonus space. Bonus room with a wet bar, refrigerator, sink, the whole nine yards. Perfect for, you can make this your theater room if you want. And there's an extra deep and you can put in foosball table, ping pong table, whatever you want. And then over here is another huge bonus space that overlooks, this is the balcony that overlooks into the family room. This is perfect for more couches, pool table, uh, more TV, more theater, whatever you want. Also has wiring for speakers, pretty sweet. This extra space right here is so cool because that makes the party connect so you don't feel like you're completely away from what's going on downstairs. Right here is another bedroom and another full bathroom. So as you can tell, you can live on one level and never have to go upstairs, but if you've got multiple kids, multiple people living in your house and you need two levels, you can get away from each other. Everybody has what they need, right? Pretty cool. Let's go downstairs, we'll do a quick recap and uh, we'll move on to the next house. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna try my hardest to recap this unbelievable house in about 30 seconds. I'm gonna point out all my favorite things, okay? I love that there's these huge doors that open up here and in the dining. It makes it feel like the outside's coming in. It's all covered, 28 by 28, covered with knotty pine. You can cook dinner outside on the barbecue, never even come in. Uh, there's a refrigerator, a sink, everything you need. It looks out on 26 acres that can't be built on with the coastal range as your backdrop for your sunset at night. One thing I love. I love the accented shiplap throughout the house. The monogram appliances are top of the line, really well picked out. The 
finish work with all of the wainscoting all the way around, the floating shelves, the formal dining, the master that goes out to the patio with all of the Italian marble. Everything I would ever want in a home, this home has, right? So for me, this is an absolute win. Great job, West Coast Home Solutions. You knocked it out of the park with this one. Again, thank you, Marissa Davis, for allowing me to come in and tour this home. I sure hope that there's buyers out there that wanna come see it because I could come to this house every single day. I love it that much. So hit me up, call Marissa, call me. Let's get you in this home. Let's get a look at it. It's a must see if you're in this market at 2.4. I hope you enjoyed this tour. We'll see you at the next house.